Having a lot of online presence is an advantage to the marketing strategy and that's also true for BL series. Even if these BLs haven't started airing yet, a lot of fans could already talk about it and create a hype that might reach a lot of potential viewers. In this video, we will be talking about some of the most hyped BL series of all time and how it became popular even before its official release. What do you think are the most hyped BL series of all time? Leave your answers on the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get started. First on our list, King Porsche the series. When the first trailer of this BL was released publicly, a lot of fans talked about this BL back then and how it was so much different compared to other series. The full blown action scenes and with a mafia theme, King Porsche became so much popular even the series hadn't started airing yet. But it became the talk of the town when the series was bought by a different company and it was so confusing for the fans if the series was already cancelled or just postponed. The minds of the fans were only cleared when Beyond Cloud started to put out promotional photos and videos on their social media platforms. With the drama behind the production of the series plus the different genre made Kim Porsche one of the most hyped BLs of all time. The fans had set an expectation for this series because of its good trailer and fortunately, the series delivered quite very well. Number 2. A Tale of Thousand Stars. It was year 2019 when we got the chance to know one of the then upcoming BL series of GMMTV, A Tale of Thousand Stars. This series gained a lot of attention because of the unusual plot since almost every BL that GMMTV had was only about school BLs. This time around, it was about the love story of a military officer and a rich young man who recently got a heart transplant. This kind of story back then was so refreshing and a lot were so curious how GMMTV would create something like this for a BL. But due to the pandemic, the production was halted indefinitely. Since the setting was totally different from the current lineups, it was difficult for them to wrap the story. Another issue that arose before was the original job of the character Poopa. Because of some political issues in the country, the team changed it from military officer to chief forest ranger. I was one of the most hyped fans back then because I wanted to see something new. And I was so satisfied when I saw the final output when it aired last year. Number 3. Bad Buddy. If you have been a BL fan for so many years already, you might be familiar with the ghost ships in the industry. In the case of Nanan, he was always shipped with Kimon because of their popular Thai series like The Gifted and The Gifted Graduation. But Kimon already had an official on-screen BL partner ever since Edge of 17. When Bad Buddy was announced in late 2020, a lot of fans were shocked when GMMTV made Omen Nanan as an on-screen BL couple with Bad Buddy. This served as the very first BL of Nanan and a lot of his fans wanted to see how he would perform in a BL since his partner is one of his closest friends. Number 4. Vice Versa. This was one of the most talked upcoming BL series of GMMTV back then when it was announced. One of the things that made the fans so much excited was bringing Ohm and Nanan back in this BL right after their own series. Although they only had guest appearances during the first and second episodes, it still gave the series a lot of hype especially for those who really love Bad Buddy. Another thing was its plot. We never explored the different kinds of plot in the fantasy genre before in a BL so having universal travel as the main plot was a huge step up in the industry. And last. Jimmy had one of the most interesting characters in Bad Buddy so a lot of fans wanted to see the different side of him in a different character. Number 5, Love by Chance Season 2. The first season of Love by Chance is one of the most popular BL series of all time. Back then, 
That was the only good BL that we could watch aside from Together With Me of Max Tool. The love story of A and Pete is my favorite part of the series but sadly, they were no longer together in the second season because of some managerial issues during the first season. When Love By Chance season 1 ended, the director said that they would no longer produce a second season. But two years after, it all changed with Tin and Ken as the main couple of the show. It created hype most especially for the fans of the first season. Number 6, Light On Me. Korean BLs have always been some of the most popular BLs in the industry, and Light On Me is one of those even before its airing. The main reason for this was the number of episodes and longer duration that set an expectation for the fans that it would be better than most Korean BLs. And Light On Me did an amazing job and exceeded those that came before it in terms of the storyline and production. Although it still falls short compared to the standard Korean dramas, it was a great start for a full-pledged Korean BL. Number 7, To My Star Season 2. The second season of To My Star is indeed one of the most hyped Korean BLs for this year and it became even more controversial when the first episode aired. To My Star Season 1 gave us a wonderful and challenging love story of Kang So Joon and Han Ji Woo but the first season wasn't enough to fully explore their story. Season 2 came and made our jaws drop because of the chosen plot. It's even more complex since their characters are being shown as vulnerable as it can be. Since the plot was focused on the breakup part, it created a lot of theories from the fans whether the two main leads will reconcile or it would be the end of their love story. Number 8, The Miracle of Teddy Bear. This Thai BL is the first BL that aired on Channel 3 locally and it created a lot of buzz not only from the fans but also to those people who don't watch BLs. Channel 3 is mostly watched by older people who seemingly not open in this kind of shows. Aside from that, The Miracle of Teddy Bear has this unique Lacorn style which is quite different to other Thai BLs. This BL was always the talk of the town because of its controversial plot and characters but personally, I really love how this BL went on with its storyline. The ending was also one of the most shocking moments in this BL and I'll never forget about it. Number 9. I told Sunset about you. To be honest. Both I Told Sunset About You and I Promised You The Moon are some of the most hype BLs of all time but I'm leaning more on the first part. Even after 2 years, it's still one of the most recommended BLs for this year not because it has steamy scenes in it but because of the quality on its production. The attention to details is second to none and that's what set it apart from other BLs. For me, I Told Sunset About You was a cultural reset because it forever changed my way of thinking on the standards of BLs. Number 10, Still Together. Although Together the series is indeed more famous than Still Together, the latter became a hot topic when GMMTV announced it was coming just a few moments after Together the series ended. Because of the mixed reviews on the finale episode of Together the series, GMMTV had to offer something for the fans in order to give a proper send off to the characters of the series. Thankfully, Still Together managed to meet the expectations of the fans and even exceed it in some scenarios. Other than these 10, we could also say that some BLs like Thuntype, Manor of Death, and some GMM TV BLs are also hyped and created a lot of buzz online. Which of these BLs do you think are the most hyped? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.